everyone, gather around. Chibi Maruko-chan is about to start. Episode Sakiko's Horoscope. It's strange. Huh? Where did I put that nice straw hat I wore recently? Oh! oh boy, Mom, now you've done it. Don't you dare say that to me, young lady. You stuffed everything in, even though I said not to. Clear it all away now. Oh, this is so troublesome. Huh? <sighs> the seashell necklace Yokchan's wife gave to me. I'm so glad I found it. It's so pretty. Huh? This month's issue of Mew Bon. Mm -hmm. Huh? Hey, there's a horoscope for the summer vacation. I was born on May 8th, so let me see. I think I'm a Taurus. You may lose something precious to you. Eh? I need to be careful then. your horoscope for the summer vacation. Aries, you'll have good fortune for love. You may meet your soulmate. You see that? That stuff never really comes true, you know. But you never know. It says your lucky place is the sea. You just might meet your soulmate by the sea. You see, it won't come true. But why? Because we don't have any plans to go to the sea during summer vacation, do we? Ah, you're right. Hey, Mom, so why don't we go to the sea this summer so that Sis can finally meet her soulmate? Um, if we're going, we should go to a place where lots of rich people go to. Hanawa-kun said he's going to the Mediterranean Sea, so how about we go there, too? Hey, just think of it this way. If Sis marries a rich man soon, going to a sea is a cheap investment. Don't be ridiculous. I'm home. Huh? I'm home, too. How was your day? Hey, wait. Where did you go to get all dressed up in a yukata? We were practicing bone dance at the Senior Citizens Club. Hey, Grandpa, what's your horoscope sign? Excuse me? What horoscope? Your sign. I am a Taurus and Sis is an Aries. Oh, Grandpa's a dog. A dog? I don't see that sign in here. Grandpa, that's your sign in Chinese astrology. Eh? Was I wrong? Grandpa, I mean zodiac sign. Let me see. Grandpa's birthday is October 3rd, isn't it? You are a Libra, and it says watch out for cars. I see, so I should be extra careful when I cross the street then. Grandma's is April 4th, so... Oh, look, she's the same as Sis and Aries. It means Grandma's fortune is related to love. You may meet your soulmate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's something I look forward to. Yeah! Huh? <laughs> ow, 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 ow. What happened? Honey? I came in to borrow a pair of scissors. I'm going fishing this Sunday, so I was going to check all my tools before I packed them. Huh? My necklace! <laughs> How could you do that, Dad? It's your fault, Maruko. You left it on the floor. I didn't leave it on the floor. I placed it there. What a convenient way to put it. Uh, 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 let me get a bandage. I need a bandage. Hey, Dad, come back here! Oh, no. Huh? It came true. <laughs> My horoscope came true. 
Look at it, sis. My horoscope for Taurus. It says you may lose something precious to you. It's just a coincidence. Nope. Your horoscope may come true, too. You never know, sis. The next day. Just as I thought, a seashell necklace isn't sold anywhere in the shopping district. I thought about buying you the same necklace, but I guess I can't. Oh, hey. Is that Grandma? Mm -hmm. Isn't that... Butler Hide! Huh? huh? She got in the car with him. Oh. Could it be that this is her meeting with her soulmate? Hi, baby. Would you like to have tea with me? Oh, wow. It's amazing. Grandma's horoscope came true, too. I get it. Watch out for cars in your horoscope was meant to warn you that this could happen, Grandpa. It wasn't literal. It happened again. What? What do you mean, again? To be honest, at the Senior Citizens Club yesterday... <laughs> oh, yes. oh, still looks good on the Yukata. Well, of course she does. She used to be called Miss Shimuzu, you know. No, no, she's still good-looking even after all these years. Oh, stop it. Don't tease me so. <laughs> <laughs> really? Grandma is so popular. Well, Grandpa, I guess you can't be complacent mm. anymore, huh? <laughs> Look, Grandma's horoscope came true. Sis, I'm telling you that yours will come true, too. I told you those things are coincidences. Sakiko, oh? you have a call from Yoshiko-san. Kay! Mm. Mm -hmm. uh. What did Yoshiko-san call for? She asked me to go to the sea with her during summer vacation. Really? She did? See, sis, you really do have a meeting with your soulmate by the sea. It also says your lucky item is a straw hat, and your lucky color will be pink. Hey, this means you should wear a straw hat to the sea. I don't think so. Mom was saying that she had trouble finding that straw hat. I found it! I found oh. it! I finally found it! Here, dear. What? You see, you see? Fate is already making her move. Sis, you may meet with someone like Hideki, and he'll be your true love. But it can't be. But it could be. <laughs> oh, oh Sakiko-chan. Oh, you were right, dear? <gasps> Hideki! Hideki! <laughs> oh, boy, sis. And so on the first Sunday of the summer vacation. Here, a towel. Take care, dear. Hey, look, it's your lucky color pink. Nothing can go wrong now, can it? Cut it out, okay? All right, I'm out of here. <laughs> Let's go over there and take a look around. Hmm. Huh. Isn't it awesome we're on the beach right now? Mm-hmm. It's almost blinding. Everything is so sparkling and so beautiful. Oh, the summer of Sekiko at age 12. There could be a fantastic encounter waiting for me. Wow, beautiful. Uh, huh? Oh no, I'll be back in a second. Be careful, yeah? Uh, uh, where did my towel go? Uh, uh, uh. Are you all right? Uh, could this be my meeting with the man of my destiny? Hey, isn't that you, sweetheart? Uh, Dad, is that you? Why are you here at the seaside today? I could ask you the same thing, Dad. Remember, I broke Maruko's necklace the other day. So, well, I thought when I went on my fishing trip, I should collect some seashells for a new necklace. Then this fell down from the cliff. <laughs> Why isn't sis coming home yet? I'm home. Huh? She came back! Welcome home, sis! Did it happen? Did you meet with your soulmate? I guess. Really? You see, the horoscope did come true then. Well then, tell me about him. He's an older guy. Okay, so how did you meet him? He helped me up as I stumbled down the cliff and picked up my towel for me. Really? It sounds quite romantic, right? Hey, I'm back. Hi, honey. Here you go. What's that? Hey, 
they're seashells. Uh, could these be to replace the necklace you broke last week? Huh? <laughs> oh, Daddy. And they're pretty. Oh, wait. Isn't this the same towel Sakiko took out this morning? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's true. How did Dad get this towel? <laughs> so then your soulmate turned out to be Dad? <laughs> What's that? What's this nonsense about her soulmate? <laughs> it's hilarious! Grandma! A present from me! Oh, look, Grandma's favorite sweet Oiwake Yukon. What's the matter? Why did you buy this so suddenly? Huh? Grandpa must be trying to compete with Butler Hide. Oh? I saw it, Grandma. Your encounter with Butler Hide. Meeting your soulmate. Meeting my soulmate? <laughs> uh. <laughs> that was just because I was walking home and carrying a lot of things I'd bought. So when he passed by, he kindly offered me a ride home. Oh. Oh, man. And I thought all of our horoscopes would come true. This is this year's August issue. Let me see. For Taurus, it says you can obtain something precious. For Aries, it says good fortune with family. So they did come true after all. I got seashells from Dad, Sis fell down and she was helped by Dad, and Grandma got a present from Grandpa, which happened to be her favorite sweets. Mariko! <laughs> I can't believe I got carried away by your silliness! Uh, sorry! I think we can safely say a meeting with a soulmate won't come for years for Sis. In this episode, Maruko's folding fan. It's hot, isn't it? Indeed it is. I can't believe her. It's so inconsiderate of Mom to make me go shopping in this heat. Uh -huh. Oh, look, a folding fan star. Hey, let's take a look inside, Grandpa. Yeah, let's do that. Wow, there's so many kinds of fans. And all of them look so pretty. I like fans, but folding fans look very nice, too. A folding fan idiom is widened to the end, so it's a lucky item. Widening to the end? See? If you look at this fan, it widens towards the end, right? What the idiom actually means is you'll increase prosperity as time goes on. Hey, Hello there. Good day, sir. Hello. Good afternoon. Uh, wow! This folding fan is gorgeous! Huh? What kind of feather is that? That's a peacock feather. This one here is a Chinese folding fan. Oh, really? Everything looks so nice here. <gasps> This pink fan is so cute! Ah, it's so cute! Yes, it really suits you, young lady. Eh? Do you think so? All right, let me see it. Ah, it's 2,500! Is it too pricey, Grandpa? It's nothing. Don't overlook the power of my pension, Maruko. Miss will take this fan here. Thank you for shopping with us. I'll take good care of this folding fan, I promise. Yes, please do so. Don't lose it. <sighs> Maruko, how did you get that folding fan? Doesn't it look pretty? Grandpa bought it for me while we were out. Did you ask him to buy it? Sorry. Ah, uh, don't worry. It's fine. <sighs> it's so cooling. I can fold this fan and carry it with me anywhere. It's very convenient for summer. Yes, that's true. I can't go out without it during the summertime. It looks fashionable, and it's cooling. Yeah, isn't it? I like this color and the pattern a lot. I'm very happy that Maruko likes it so much. It just warms my heart. <laughs> hey, Mom, will you put my yukata out? Eh? Uh, but why? Holding a folding fan suits me better when I'm wearing a yukata, right? <laughs> oh, you'd make an ideal traditional woman. Mother, will you give me another glass of barley tea? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you so much, Mother. 
<laughs> hey, the stock has a strong flavor. Yes, dried bonito is used extravagantly. Well then, let's see how the soba noodles are. <laughs> oh, there goes Toki Soba. Oh, so Toki Soba? Yes, it's a great comic story. One of the more worthy points oh, to notice how a well folding then, fan is used to make it look as if he is really eating soba noodles. Mmm, he does make it look delicious. I wonder if I can do it too. Oh, you're quite good at that too. You think so? <laughs> After pretending, I really do feel like having soba noodles now. Hey, Mom, will you cook soba noodles for dinner? What? I've already decided to cook vegetable casserole for dinner, though. No, please try to do better. I will not indulge you. <laughs> I wish I could have soba noodles right now. Look, Maruko, you're dressed so nicely in a yukata, so why don't we take a walk outside? A good idea. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> it tastes so good. Ah. Maruko, watch it! <laughs> oh. oh, that was close. Grandpa, I'm sorry. Don't worry about it, Maruko. Huh? Noguchi-san. Oh, Noguchi-san. Hey. A very good afternoon. Hello. Did you two go somewhere special? We went out to watch a Japanese dance. A Japanese dance? It's a traditional Japanese dance with a very long history. Yes, that's right. And so the sun rises. Huh? A folding fan. <laughs> it really does look like the sun is rising when you do that. <laughs> Watch me, I can do this with mine. <laughs> what delicious noodles! They have good texture. Hmm. That's Toki Soba. Wow, no Gucci san. You sure do like your comedies. You have knowledge of comic stories. Hey, let me use it for a minute. Huh? Oh, yeah, sure. So, guess what this is? Uh, well, uh. is it no. juice? Uh, uh. Oh. Ooh. Oh, yes, I got it. A sake bottle. Huh? <laughs> then what about this one? It be cold. Oh! Ah! Ah! I'm mortally wounded. Uh, I got it. It's a katana. <laughs> huh? Grandpa. Uh, oh. Here. I think you're really overacting. Bravo, 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 bravo! That was some realistic action there. Hey, what's going on? Are you playing samurai? Let us play with you guys too, Boo! We're not playing. But I just saw you cut him with a sword and then he fell. Yeah, sort of. We were actually playing with a folding fan. A folding fan? Right. Just a folding fan. It has many interesting uses. Uh... I think I've got a folding fan at home. Yeah, I've got one at home too, Boo. Yeah? Well, in that case, why don't all of us play together using folding fans? What? What kind of games? It's a unique game which has been played since the Edo period. You really like oh. it. It sounds like fun. Let me play too. Me, me, I'll play. I want to play as well, Boo. Okay, then everyone come to the Noguchi residence and bring your folding fans. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> hey, the greatest in Japan! <laughs> Look at my fan, Boo! Ah. <laughs> uh, Butaro, why do you have a pig face on your folding fan? Doesn't it look cool, Boo? Okay. Huh? Oh. So now we shall start the contest of tossing folding fans. Contest, contest of, of tossing, tossing folding, folding fans? fans? All we have to do is throw an open fan to hit this little target here. Oh, this is a game played in the Chitabi room. You got it! By the way, just FYI, this game is called Tosenkyo. I will give this little wrapped gift to the person who hits the target with their fan. There are these delicious candies inside that are so sweet they'll make you keep smiling for sure. It sounds like lots of fun. Yeah, it really does. But this is quite a difficult game, you know. Let me give you an example. Oh! oh. oh. A perfect hit! That was 
was great. Hey, you are so good at this game. <laughs> Your fan suits you. You've got a chic folding fan. Okay, everyone, why don't you practice for a while first? All right. Mm -hmm. ah! oh! 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 Terrible. Sakura-san, why don't you give it a try? <laughs> yeah. Contest. The rules are very simple. Four of you throw at the same time, and the person who hits the target wins. Please throw on my mark, understand? <sighs> Maruko, just try your best. Mm. All right, whatever happens, I should throw with all my strength. Ready? Let's, Let's throw! throw. In order to dry her wet folding fan, Maruko ended up fanning her folding fan with a regular fan until she was hot and sweaty. What a silly ending. <laughs> <laughs>